Hi, welcome to Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. In this video lecture, I will introduce you with the Laplace transformation. Laplace transformation is an integral transform. Laplace transform was named after Simon Laplace, who discovered it. The Laplace transform converts continuous time signals into frequency domain. This capability of Laplace transform to convert signals from uh, time domain to frequency domain makes it very useful and uh, finds many applications in science and technology. The Laplace transform can be used to, to solve uh, differential equations, partial differential equations, and integral equations very easily. Solving these uh, complex equations becomes uh, so easy with Laplace transform because the Laplace transform converts these complex equations into algebraic equations that can easily be solved. Laplace transform can uh, also be used to find uh, solutions to initial value problems and to convert convolution into multiplication. So now you can uh, understand how much powerful and uh, versatile tool the Laplace transformation is. Now it's time to see the formal definition of Laplace transform. So we can write it. Okay, so this is the definition of Laplace transform. If f of t is a well-defined function of t for all positive values of t, then if the definite integral, integral from 0 to infinity, e raised to the power minus st f of t dt exists, it is called the Laplace transform of f of t. So it means Laplace of f of t we can denote it by this sign f bar of s okay is equals to integral 0 to infinity e raised to the power minus st f of t dt okay so this is the relationship here S is a complex number frequency parameter. Okay. And S can be defined as what is S? Sigma plus J omega. We can define S as sigma plus j omega with the real numbers sigma and omega with sigma and omega are real numbers okay from the above relation we can um, also write that uh, f of t is equals to laplace inverse of f bar s we can write f of t from this we can write f of t is equals to Laplace inverse of f bar of s okay here uh, therefore f of t is called the inverse Laplace transform of f bar s here the function f of t is uh, also known as object function defined for all t greater than 0 and uh, f bar s is uh, called as the resultant image function
Now we will see the condition for existence of Laplace transform. Let's see this condition. The Laplace transform of uh, f of t exists if f of t is of uh, exponential order. It, if there exist constants m and a such that modulus of f of t is less than equals to m into e raised to the power a t for all t greater than 0. Here the parameter should be large enough to make the integral convergent. It should also be noted that uh, the condition for the existence of f bar s is sufficient but not necessary. So let me write what I said. So, this is all about uh, the basic introduction of Laplace transform. Here we discussed the definition of Laplace transform, its uh, applications in uh, various fields, what is inverse Laplace transform, and also the condition for existence of Laplace transform. In the next video, we will uh, discuss the theorems of Laplace transformation, like uh, linearity theorem and uh, first shifting theorem. Friends, if you really liked and uh, enjoyed the video, then please like it and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel, Engineering Made Easy. For more details, you can also visit my blog, www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com. The link is given in the description of this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.